All praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Kohalo Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles, the bishop, the elders, the great millstone, and our Shalom Labaharim. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, which is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Bahashim, which means in the name of Yahweh Shai, is the name of the only begotten Son, who was sent to deliver the children of Israel from their sins. Bahashim Rakakodash means in the name of the Holy Spirit, which is the volume of the book, the Spirit of Truth. And I shall want to in peace to the elect. That's the men, women, and children whose names are written in the book of life, who's ordained to be delivered in these last days. And I shall want to you all. And uh, today's proverb of the day, we're in the ninth day of the third month of the lunar calendar, will be Proverbs 9 and 6. Proverbs 9 and 6, it says, Forsake the foolish and live. All right, forsake the foolish and live and go in the way of understanding. In the NLT, it says, leave your simple ways behind and begin to live. Learn to use good judgment. Yeah, yeah, because that goes hand. Good judgment goes into understanding. When you have understanding, you have proper judgment. All right. And the first part of it says, forsake the foolish and live. Let's look at that. Let's look at those couple of words there in this verse. All right. Let's look at the word forsake. It says to leave loose. Forsake, depart from, leave behind, leave and let alone, abandon, okay, neglect, apostate. Oh, I'm sorry, apostates, to let loose, set free. That's right, man. When you first come into the knowledge, you know, um, you're freeing yourself from the lies, from the bondage, you know, of the flesh, you know. You're, you're looking for everlasting life, all right? Because as long as you're in that bondage of the flesh, then you're just seeking death, all right? You're not going to be delivered. You're not going to uh, see salvation, you know? And a part of forsaking the foolish is not only from your simple ways, but being around people who, without understanding, you know, being a, around you know, living a lifestyle which puts you in company of those that are walking in darkness overall. All right. So that's another thing you can ponder on and meditate on is watch your company, who you're around, you know, who you break bread with, you know. And it says go in the way of understanding. Right. Well, we want to get the word foolish. I'm sorry. Just get the word foolish. That's uh, pataya, pataya, right? Sim simplicity, night. I know that's the word naive, but it's, let's just get it. I don't know how to pronounce that. Naive, it says, uh, Wikipedia, let's go into definition. All right. A naive remark or action. All right. Um, let's look at the word naive. Marked by unaffected simplicity. Uh, it says, uh, deficient in worldly wisdom or informed judgment. Okay, because a lot of people are going to give into society and take the MOTB and conform to the, to the ways of the devil. All right, because of the, because of them being naive, and when you forsake the foolish, it broadens your understanding, so that you have better judgment and better character, and better decisions make, better decision making. You know, and the ultimate decision is to choose Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai over the world. Okay, let me see. Yup. Uh, another definition says not previously subject to experimentation or a particular experimental situation, right? Um, another thing is, you know, our people starting with the so-called Negroes, especially so-called Negroes, Hispanics and Native Americans, all right, have been a part of this big experiment of being a nigga and a spick, you know, that's a, that's a lifestyle, that's a culture, you know, that's a, at this point, it's a choice, <laughs> if you will, you know, and uh, that's why our people, we grow up in the projects, 
You know, you bro- grow up in communities where they just throw drugs and guns and it's an experiment. But when you come into the knowledge and wisdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, you leave off from that experiment. And this is why the likes of Vocab Malone and all these other fractions of people that come up against the word of the Lord, they're upset because we're no longer partaking in their experiment. You know, because it's foolish at this point. At this point, there's all kind of videos and Illuminati uh, exposés and, you know, uh, whistleblowers. And, you know, at this point, you dive into the ways of this world and, you know, you're conducting yourself in in a fashion of this world, then you're just completely naive. You're foolish. Okay? Yeah, I'm going to read that one again. It says, not previously subjected, meaning under the rule. That's what the word subject means. It means under the rule to experimentation. I mean, you're going through Esau's little, you know, a trial run. You know, like you're being basically the guinea pig. You know, or, or, or the monkey. Hmm, if, if we have them eat this or we have them, you know, um, uh, say these words or listen to this music, let's see the outcome of it. All right, so this is a part of forsaking the foolish because Esau, Edom, he represents death. Everything, there's nothing that he can set forth. There's no seed that he can plant that can sprout to give you some form of life. All right? That's why we have the word of the Lord. That's why we have the proper instructions. That's why we have the men of the Lord on the scene today to to feed us with uh, uh, knowledge, man, to feed us with proper understanding, to to, uh, give us the living water and the bread of life. Okay? Mm -mm. That's it on that, on the definition. All right, uh, another scripture I have. This is Ephesians chapter 4. Yeah. There's a lot into this, you know, because... When Paul was writing these letters, he was writing to Israelites that were coming out of the Gentile state of mind who were walking in a foolish lifestyle, all right, and were learning of Yahweh Shai so that they could be received in the kingdom of heaven, all right, so that they could walk through the straight gate, you know, and uh, come into the light, all right? I'll start at verse 17. This I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord, that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk, and the vanity of their mind. You see, because all the things of the world are vain, man. All right. All, the, all those things of the world are foolish. Having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of the Most High. See, when you are a foreigner to the life of the Most High, you're walking in the ways of the world. Okay. We have to do all that we can to fight to stay within the walk of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. That starts in the mind. All right. We can't have this everlasting life. We can't have this this word. And then a situation occurs and then you choose the ways of the world to deal with it. Okay? Then you haven't really forsaken the world. You you're not you're not forsaking the foolishness. Okay? We really got to examine ourselves when matters come. All right? Whether it be amongst uh, the brotherhood, whether it be in, you know, everyday life, you know, and ultimately during the hour of temptation. Okay, having understanding darkened, talking about the Gentiles of the world, all right, having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of the Most High through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart. All right, see, through Yahweh Shai, our hearts are unveiled. Okay, we, we no longer have that cover over our hearts, meaning over our mind. Yahweh Shai has opened our minds to, to see forth perfection so that we are blameless in the, in the sight of Yahweh Shai. Okay? Who's being past 
feeling have given themselves over to lasciviousness to work all uncleanness with greediness. Let's look at this word lasciviousness again. Strong's G, 766. As Elgaya. As Elgaya. Unbridled lust, excess, licentiousness, lasciviousness, wantonness, meaning what? Being undisciplined. All right? Outrageous. Shamelessness. Insolence. Let's look up this word, insolence again. The quality or state of being insolent. Instance or insolence. Okay, let's get the real definition here. It says the quality or state of being insolent. An instance or oh, come on. It says insultingly contemptuous in speech or conduct. Yeah. Exhibiting boldness or effrontery. I don't know what effrontery is. Impudent, meaning without shame, man. You know, and, and insulting, insulting the contemptuous in speech, you know. In other words, it's pride, man. Insolence comes from pride, uh, speaking too highly of yourself, you know, uh, thinking that you're greater than what you truly are. All right. Let's put this word contemptuous. You're manifesting, feeling or expressing deep hatred or disapproval. You see, who are you? All right, we ain't nobody, man. I ain't nobody, you know. So we gotta stay in a mind of humbleness, to where we're not putting on that undisciplined mind frame. Okay. Let's go back. We can go back to uh, Ephesians, the fourth chapter. That was the word lasciviousness. Okay. Get back to it. Uh, verse 19. Who being past feeling have given themselves over unto lasciviousness to work all uncleanness and greediness. But ye have not so learned Yahweh Shai. See, you don't know Yahweh Shai. You have not put on the mind of Yahweh Shai. All right. If you're still walking in that ignorant mind frame of the old man. Verse 22. If so be that ye have heard him. Talking about Yahweh Shai. And have and guess what? These individuals weren't taught directly by Yahweh Shai. So in order for them to hear Yahweh Shai, they had to hear Paul's words. Okay? If so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him, as the truth is in Yahweh Shai, that ye put off concerning the former conversation. All right. Now this word conversation. An ostrophe. Meaning manner of life, conduct, behavior, behavior, deportment. Okay, let's look at this word deportment. This is from Wikipedia. Behavior or behavior is the range of actions and mannerisms made by individuals, organisms, systems of artificial entities in some environment. These systems can include other systems or organisms. As well as in an ad physical environment is the computed response of the system or oh yeah, I get it. It is the computed response of the system or organisms to various stimuli or inputs. Okay. Yeah. What, what what type of environment you put yourself, where you put yourself, who you associate yourself with can be the reaction of your actions all right could be the consequence of your actions the manner in which one conducts oneself okay that's what that definition of wikipedia was going into okay so going back talking about anastrophe manner of life conduct behavior all right because who you associate with who you sit down with who you break birds of the same feather flock together all right, that's why the scriptures tell you, can two walk together except they be agreed? You're supposed to walk with those who you agree with. Matter of fact, real quick, let's go to Sirach, the ninth chapter. Bear with me, I'll find it. Got to find the exact verse. Yeah, 
Yeah, verse 15. Let thy talk be with the wise and all the communication of the law of the Most High. And let just men eat with, eat and drink with thee. And let thy glorying be in the fear of the Lord. All right. So you, we supposed to be breaking bread with those that fear the Lord who, ha, who are, have the same mind. All right. This will help you shaping yourself to who you are. Okay. I'm going back. Ephesians 4 and uh, 22. That ye put off the former, put off concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lusts, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Okay? And that ye put on the new man, which after the most high is created in righteousness and true holiness. Wherefore, putting away lying, speaking every man truth with his neighbor. All right, so no lying, for we are members of one of another. See? Whoo, there you go, man. All right, we're not in this thing by ourselves, man. Okay? We represent one another. Okay? Hey, that's why the scriptures tell you, like, basically the brotherhood is a mirror. Okay? You go around brothers, you hear particular things, you see particular things, you know? And it's a reflection of yourself, but also, too, okay, it could be a chiseling of yourself. All right, you can get, you get chiseled. All right, you get, that's why the scriptures tell you iron sharpened of iron. Okay? And we want to be that shaping vessel that's fitted for the kingdom of heaven, that's fitted for mercy. Okay? With that, I'm going to say, call all Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai, Ba'ashim Rakaqwadah, Shalom to the elect.